goodies today. If you want to know all the other goodies, we got a lot. We got a lot of shit going on. Check out the description box. But let's go ahead and get started. And so, we start off each session with a prayer. It is not a religious prayer. It is just a prayer to root us down in community in our individual healing experience. And because consent matters, do I have your permission to say a prayer? Okay, may I touch you? That's it. 
sign of knowing. Pisces is the sign of believing. I have a belief in God. I have a belief in this. I have belief in that. But Sagittarius is different because Sagittarius is the quiet knowing. I know this to be true. I When you see somebody with strong Sagittarius energy, it is almost like they don't have to think. They're just pulled in the direction that they need to go to. Very lucky. Usually and typically very happy people. Which is really deep into that Sagittarius energy. 
are 70% water and we have our regulatory systems and the moon impacts the tides. The moon is impacting us. It's definitely impacting things going on too. Side note, you probably don't want to know this. Um, on the full moon, that's actually when parasites hatch and worms and things like that. And so that's <laughs> for people who need to do a parasite cleanse. Um, you might, if you feel very agitated or uncomfortable during those full moon times, go ahead and cleanse your system <laughs> because it may mean that. But I'm just showing you how powerful the moon is, how amazing, like, you know, all of these moon cycles, all of this, um, just having, uh, for women, just sitting out in the moonlight, um, does something to us, uh, specifically for everybody in general, just sitting out in the moonlight and allowing our natural sleep cycles is just so healing. But anyway, back into the new moon of Sagittarius, you are starting this new healing path. You are ending karma, specifically ending a cycle that has been so representative within this last decade, specifically this year. You are ending that cycle before you go on into Saturn and Aquarius, and then we can talk more about the actual age of Aquarius and what all of that means, but just allow yourself to end and begin, okay? So, when you're initially writing what you want, you can go ahead and go in and say, this is all the things I want to let go and leave and just drop them. And as you go forward, you can say, this is all the things I want to pick up and make sure that you make your life as simple as possible. Sagittarius is not about a hundred steps or a hundred like, okay, got it all these tasks. It's not like Gemini and Virgo that has all of this stuff going on. Sagittarius is very clean and clear and straight to the point and wants to take an action and it can't take an action if it has to do all this stuff. So when you are writing out your intentions, be very clear. Focus on what you want healing wise. Focus on what you want in an energetic connection to whatever it is you believe in. That's your business. Focus on that and explain how this strengthening of the connection will make your life better overall. And that is how you get to what you want. So let me give you an example. If you want more money, the way you would approach it wouldn't necessarily mean like, okay, I'm alright, I want more money, I want more money. Don't approach it like that. Approach it like this. I want to heal myself fully. I want to be so connected with universe energy that I have unlimited abundance in my life. You have to, to say it in a way that the new moon in Sagittarius will respond to it. Now, with that new moon in Sagittarius and a solar eclipse, the solar eclipse is saying this is a new beginning. This is a so important time with the solar eclipse because you are getting an extra amount of energy so that whatever you say will be amplified 10, 20, 100 times just because of the way that the energy is connecting with each other at that time. Now, if it was just a new moon in Sagittarius, you could again begin the initiation of whatever. Also, if you are initiating into a spiritual practice, a lineage or something like that, this is also a beautiful time to do so, especially with a soul 
Christmas and then on December 21st which is winter solstice which is important uh, we and it's also known as um, the great conjunction because there will be a Saturn and Jupiter conjunction also the star of Bethlehem will be seen and that's something that hasn't been seen in a long time in um, this great conjunction hasn't happened in over 800 years I mean powerful stuff so if you missed the 14th we got a lot going on this month it is going to be jam packed but back into what I was talking about let me kind of give you a little bit of relaxation here So, with going into that energy, with this solar eclipse, step into it like, this is my life now. It's no longer like, I moved out of my old neighborhood, but I come to visit. This is, I'm going to another continent, and I'm never coming back. I'm going to another planet, I'm never coming back. I'm making a transition for light work, for light work, so it's going to be and good usually means expansive energy good usually means you're coming into more I'm doing this but that means I also have to let go of being a victim I have to let go of everything that held me back because all of the traumas that we've ever experienced give us a lot of perspective give us a lot of insight on who we will be later on in life if you get to the other side of the trauma you then get to turn around out and then you see a blessing in it and moving into this new chapter you can no longer or no longer see yourself as a victim you can not be just a victim of your surroundings or your circumstances that's not Sagittarius energy that's not how it works instead you are nothing but a beacon of light and hope it doesn't even have to be rational it doesn't have to be emotional you just are it is just the highest sense of being that you will step forward and be a light so whatever you're manifesting i want you to think of the, the ideal self you would love to be and be that in the moment so during december 14th you're just going to breathe in and out and you can just allow you know the beautiful energy of the day because this is a wonderful time to do this in the day receive this new you and as you receive the rays of that you feel a shedding or a letting go of all the shadows of everything just dripping off you and just leaving it in the past and letting it go so essentially i mean we could continue to talk about this over and over and over and over again but a very powerful time so here's your takeaways okay your takeaways are to write down what it is that you want to let go and what you're going to walk into and truly let it go you can't turn around and look at it you just have to let it go and the goal is that you just be it doesn't have to be logical it doesn't have to be rational make it a big you know audacious goal okay and just be with it and don't ask questions just allow it to be and allow your energy and your heart to be forward and during the solar eclipse understand that what you are setting in motion is going to be amplified 10, 20, 100 times because of that power. So be very precise in what you want. Also, focusing on the spiritual healing aspect of it for anything you want. If you ask to heal through that, you will get to where you need to go. It's just simply because of that new moon and Sagittarius kind of energy. Okay, I hope you enjoy that. So let me tell you some stuff that's coming up. As you, the, a very important transition, which is Saturn going into Aquarius, and why this is important, because while you'll have this solar eclipse that is going to bring a new level to your life, you're leveling up, you will also have a greater sense of responsibility for the collective, a, let me run that back, a greater sense of responsibility for the collective when um, Saturn goes into Aquarius. Now, if you know what house it's in, you can know specifically what area it's going to be, but that means a sense of responsibility. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you will no longer, after you go through this, I'll say initiation or go through this process, you will no longer be able to turn around and look back. There's actually not going to be anything behind you, but you will be expected to have more 
biggest no's is yes, 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 I can do it. Yes, I can do it. 